What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today I'm bringing you guys some Black Ops 3 gameplay and I'm very excited for this because this game has been so fun. It's been so exciting. I'm level 20 right now which is maxed out right now in the beta. I think they're going to increase it but I am going to MES tomorrow. So hopefully you know I can play a little bit more. But this is some gameplay. Uh, I believe I almost dropped 60 kills. It's some very nice gameplay. Probably had like a 2.3.0 KD, showing you guys how effective the M8 is. I wanted to demonstrate this because a lot of people have been asking me how good is the M8, how strong is it, and honestly, it almost feels like Black Ops 2. Uh, right now, I'm rocking the Red Dot, Quick Draw, and I believe High Caliber. If you guys don't know, High Caliber is basically uh, more. It does, I think, more damage when you shoot them in the head. So if I were to shoot a guy with a burst in the head, I'm, I might one burst him. See right here, I got a nice three piece. And it's just so strong. The M8 is a very good gun. Uh, right now, I know the Razorback, which is a sub, is probably the best gun in the game, literally. It's so powerful. I mean, this, it's insane. It's like an AR, but a sub at the same time. But obviously, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the M8 right now. And those are the three attachments I'm rocking. I'm, I'm going to say it one more time in case you guys didn't hear me. Red Dot, Quick Draw, and the High Caliber. And for the people who don't know what High Caliber does... It's basically, like I said, does more damage to the head. Now, a reason I'm not rocking on stock, and a huge, actually a huge reason, is because stock is so, so, so slow on the AR. And I know Merc talked about this. He's like, it's a good thing uh, that stock is not that viable anymore because you, you want to go back to traditional ARs. You know, positioning, setting up, that's really important in this game. And I think it's still pretty important. In this game, you can't, like, go, like, AW, boost around crazy and doing some crazy stuff. You know, it's... It's a lot more organized, and that's a really good thing because it requires you to actually be smart, be smart with positioning. Actually, requires you, you, you know, you get punished if you do something stupid. But yeah, you see, I'm rocking that MA here, just dominating, just doing so well with it, and it's it's honestly one of my favorite guns right now. If I were to say, it's probably one of the best ARs, and then Razorback is the best sub, probably is the best sub in the game, and is the best gun in the game. But you can see I'm just doing so well. And honestly, I love this game, man. Uh, right here, I'm using the... God, what's it called? I forgot it, man. Call it the bow and arrow. But I kind of sucked ass with it. Used it. I, I challenged like an idiot. But this game has been so fun, man. It's been so exciting. You know, honestly, I, I've just... I've been playing it nonstop. My fingers hurt. Like, they literally hurt. My pinky hurts. My thumb hurts from playing so much. You know, yesterday I started around 10.30 after a tournament. And I ended up playing till like 6 in the morning. I was streaming in, you know, through the whole way. And then today, uh, I woke up around 11.30. Uh, you know, showered, brushed my teeth, and got up back on around 12. And I, and I was streaming from 12 to like 5. And then I decided to get off because we need to probably play some AW. You know, we need to practice. And my hands were hurting pretty bad again. But it's just, it's so fun. Like, I want to continue playing. I remember yesterday, I kept telling myself, you know, one more game. I kept telling my stream, one more game and I'm getting off. All right, after this game, I'm getting off. And I just kept going and going and going. I ended up playing like five more games. But it's just so fun, man. This is just the beta. I'm so excited for the future. I'm so excited for, you know, what's going to happen. And just playing this, like, this is fun. And I can just imagine competitive. Like, competitive, you know, hard point 4v4 against really skilled players. Like, that's even more fun. So it's going to be insane, man. I'm so excited to be playing with whoever. Um... You know, you can't really play private matches right now, so it kind of sucks. But I've just been having a lot of fun. You know, I maxed out, like I said, in the pub. But the MA has been so great. You know, I honestly, man, like, let's see, what else? Um, the Havoc is not too good, or the HVK, whatever you want to call it. Some people like it. Honestly, I don't like it too much. The Man of War, <coughs> excuse me, the Man of War also has, like, it's really strong. It's more for stationary AR, but at the same time, still... You know, the, the fire rate is very, very, very slow. I know some people have been using rapid fire to increase it. I think it's probably really good with rapid fire. Like, it's actually pretty viable. But honestly, without rapid fire, unless you're, you're like camping or playing really slow, it's, I, my, my, in my opinion, it's not that good. You know, it's it's really, it's a really slow AR. And then what else? You got the Shivia or whatever you want to call it. That AR is really nice. It's a two bullet kill. I know if you put high caliber, which is attachment, increases damage on the head. It's supposed to be a one shot to the head, which kind of sounds OP. Um, it kind of reminds me of the FAL. It, like I said, it shoots it shoots like at the same fire rate, almost at the same fire rate. Maybe like a tad bit slower, but it's almost not noticeable. And you know, it's very, very strong. Honestly, love that gun. Um, 
I don't know, like I'm still trying it out. I still need to unlock the high caliber, but every time I used it, it's very good. It's like a stationary AR, AR same thing. It's not that much more running gun. It's more positioning, getting in a head glitch, or getting in a good position, and just picking people off across the map. And that's what it does really well. I can see it being used a lot in S&D, that's for sure. Because, you know, with that gun being so powerful, that gun being so strong, I could definitely see it, especially in S&D, where it's a more slower pace and all that stuff. But... And then the subs, <clears throat> the Viper or Vesper, whatever it's called. I don't remember the name right now. I can't, you know, think of it. But something with a V. That gun is kind of, kind of bad. Just because the fire rate is so fast that you literally empty your clip in like 1.5 seconds. Like your clip is completely gone. And you probably get a kill. Only You only get like one kill with it. Maybe two max. And then the recoil is terrible. So... It's like, it's not that viable right now. Like, I, even if you attach stuff to it, because I, I was using no attachments, I still don't think it's going to be that good, to be honest. Like, it has insane fire. Like, you can you can probably win almost any gunfight up close. Like, think of it of, as of, I don't know, I can't think of a fast fire gun, but it just has a really insane fire rate, but the recoil is pretty bad, and you ran, you only have 30 bullets, so the clip ends, ends up going in like 1 second, 1.5 seconds, that clip is gone. So it's, that's the only bad thing about it. And then the Kudo, I heard good things about it. I used it a little bit in the beginning of the game, but then I stopped using it. I heard that's pretty good. But honestly, the two subs right now that I think are very good and very strong is the Kudo and the Razorback. The Razorback is definitely, it's on top, you know, it's definitely the best gun in the game right now. I definitely think it, that thing is literally op Like when I say op I mean that thing is like an AR. Like, you can mad people, you get no recoil. You, you like, mad people. Oh, my God. Did you see that? You see that? I stuck the drone. I, I'm sorry. I cut, cut myself off. But I stuck the drone because I was throwing a nade over. I stuck the drone, and then the drone came back to me and ended up killing me. That was pretty embarrassing. Pre pretty embarrassing. But, yeah, guys, man, this game has been so fun. You know, I can't, I can't stress enough how, like, all these specialists, like, just look at this, man. It's a beauty. I, I feel like I'm freaking arrow. I'm like the green arrow. It's straight up. Look at this. You ready, guys? Look at this shit. Oh, I missed that. But yeah, it's been it's been a fun time. It's been very nice. That but the MA has been, definitely has been one of the best. Like I said, <clears throat> I haven't been releasing really stock on my ARs just because I feel like it's not that good. And this game, it's more about positioning rather than you know, it's it's the movement it doesn't allow you like AW. You know, you can boost everywhere. You could like go crazy. And where stocks a lot better in this game, you know, it's actually positioning and getting in the right spot and pre-aiming and all that stuff. But it, it's been a great time, like I said. Uh, the M8, as you can see it from the gameplay, if you've been watching it, not only listening to me, that's a very strong gun, a very good gun. Uh, you know, it's it's like the M8 from Black Ops 2. I mean, the best way to describe it, you know, it's it's been very nice. And the wall running and everything, the wall running is kind of tricky. It's very, no, let, let me, let me, you know, fix that. The wall running is very simple, but you can do so much more with the wall running. Like, if you think about it, any wall in the game, almost any wall in the game that's flat is runnable. You see that wall right next to me? I can run on that. Like, almost any wall, even in the building, you can run on. It's almost anything that's flat and doesn't really have any, like, obstacles or anything, like, blocking it. So that's crazy to think about. I think people are going to get, like... Later in the future, you know, once we actually get the game and get the hang of it, people are going to start doing some, like, crazy routes and wall running and stuff. But, yeah, um, if you're going to be using the M8, I recommend, like I said, Red Dot, Quick Draw, and High Caliber. If you want, you could try Stock and replace the High Caliber. But, personally, I don't think Stock's that good. Oh, another AR that I almost missed. Whew. What am I saying? The Arc 7, which is the first AR you get in the game, is very, very good. It's basically... Like, when you try to compare that, I think that AR has the highest fire rate. So, I kind of compare it to, like, kind of like a sub. Like, you think about it, it's it's more of a running gun gun. Uh, more of a running gun gun. Oh, and the melee takes two melees, if you saw that. I was pretty weak. I went inside a Tiki, meleeed him twice for the kill. You know, that's... It, it's, it's weird, but the melee's... Like, it's like, alright, so it doesn't kill in one hit. Uh, unless I think you shoot, you hit him in the back, like counts like an assassination. But you know, if you get in some front in front of someone, you can melee him twice real quick before he probably has a chance to kill you. He, he might leave you weak. And I really like the system they, you know, they did with this whole melee thing. And you know, even even if like a guy's weak, is one melee is dead. So it's pretty cool. 
Um, a lot of the specialists have been nice. I think they need to tweak and fix a couple things like stuns. I think stuns are insanely broken. You can't even move left and right much. Uh, those, that's the main thing that needs to be nerfed, stuns. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, it's been a great time. This game has been fun. I'm going to continue playing it and continue streaming it when I can. And yeah, I mean, I've I've had more sick gameplays, but I just wanted to share this with, this, it's with the M8. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.